Confederation College is in the process of constructing its own bioenergy plant. It's an extension to the Shunya building, which will house its own biomass boiler. The biomass boiler is going to use wood pelleted fuel in order to heat this building. A lot of this building that's currently being put together, if you take a look at it, it actually has a number of baseboard heaters that are driven by electricity. Electricity is very expensive. This is a way of both reducing our costs, reducing our energy use, using a more efficient production of energy, and using a local product, uh, using the actual wood pellets that are produced in the region to support our energy needs. When finished, the bioenergy plant will produce enough clean, renewable energy to heat both the college's Shunya building and the new REACH facility. Our primary heating uh, a few years back was mainly electricity, and uh, so we wanted to look at different sources of, of heating for the college. Uh, we chose the, the biomass option, being that it's the latest and greatest in technology, and I think it can really showcase uh, a green energy solution. The plant is expected to be completed by spring of 2012, with hopes that the building will be able to support the energy needs of the school's campus by fall of 2012. It also provides us with a chance of training students on the use of, of the type of boiler that we're putting in place. It's a place that small communities in the north have actually expressed a lot of interest in because if it can work for this building, it could actually work in a whole variety of other small communities in the north. So rather than burning diesel, which often is brought, brought in on winter roads or is very expensive to, to use, contributes more to the greenhouse effect, they may be able to move to uh, a wood-based fuel, the wood pellet fuel, to reduce their energy costs, use a local fuel, and reduce the greenhouse gases as well. This project also will benefit the students because rather than just having a plant that uh, supports energy for the college facilities department, we felt that this opportunity, there, would, there was a big opportunity for the students to learn from this type of, of energy solutions. And so we've made the plant or the facilities uh, open for student access. And in fact, the design of the plant will have a learning commons area and some space for, for learning activities for the students to engage in. Although using wood-based fuel for energy purposes has been met with some criticism, it's being looked at as part of the solution towards a green response and a better option than coal. It's safe to say Confederation College is becoming a strong green role model in the community. Our past president uh, signed an initiative uh, towards greening our entire campus. And, uh, from process to, to cleaning solutions to recycling to everything that we do on campus, we want to lower our emissions and uh, eventually get to a zero carbon footprint. I think it's great that the school is doing this uh, for the students and for the community because it's pushing us towards a greener environment. Um, when we get a chance to see how this, these resources work and how they benefit us, both uh, economically and environmentally, then there's more impetus for us to move forward with other projects and to be a student in a school like this is really encouraging. With how we treat the planet and our ever increasing population of mankind, uh, everybody knows we have to all pull our own part in terms of lowering our emissions and, and keeping our earth clean and sustainable.